Hello everyone, here we are for our practice. Just stay with you your blocks and we're gonna start in a low down position, feet together in diamond pose. We start centering ourselves here on our mat with the rhythm of our breath. Just observe how your rib cage is lifting up and expanding to the side during your inhalation. And how your navel is moving toward the spine during your exhalation. For now, our breath is normal and natural. But from the next hour, we're gonna use the yuja breath, yoga breathing. So your inhalation will be from the nose, very long, very deep. And your exhalation, very long, from the nose as well, with a soft sound in your throat. We can start to coordinate the movement of our body with our breath. And we take a deep inhale, we close the legs together. Long exhale, open. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, last one, inhale up, exhale down. We come back with the legs bent on the floor, we move our feet close to the fingertips enough to reach our hands, we start to lift our tailbone, engaging the glutes and core, and we rise the hips all the way up in line with our knees and shoulders like a diagonal. And we hold, engage the glutes and the navel. Two, one. Slowly release and roll back on the mat, vertebra by vertebra, your spine. The last vertebra will be the, the tailbone. And then we do it again. Take a deep now, rise your tailbone and vertebra by vertebra, go up along your spine, engage your glutes and core or abdominal muscles and hold five. Four, three, two, one. We close the feet together or as close as possible. We transfer our weight on the left leg and we rise the right. Be sure that your neck is free to move. If the weight of your body support from the hip, the, from the heels, the feet, the leg and the shoulders. And slowly down, switch leg. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. And slowly down. From here, again, release every vertebra one at a time till to reach the table. Then you wrap your hand, uh, knees to the chest and make a swing for your body with your knees side to side, like a nice massage for your lower back. And then start this swing with the spine round like a ball shape and roll back and forward on your mat till when you can reach the sitting position. We stop here in lotus position or just with your legs crossed as comfortable as you as possible if you are with your knees very high and your spine very rounded in this position, use a block and you can sit on the block, rise your chest up, the spine will be more straight and your knees can relax apart. From here we take a deep inhaler up, shoulder relaxed, look up and hold, five, four, three, two, one, release. We are going to do the same with the holding of also of our breath. 
deep inhale up and hold your breath in your arms create space from shoulders and ears five look up four three two and one exhale release one more time deep inhale up shoulders far from the ears and hold five four three two and one slowly release this time during the movement you twist your right hand to the left knee and you move your head on the back create a nice twist for your spine keep the back straight sit bones grounded on the floor take a deep inhale come back in the center look up long exhale twist on the opposite direction One more time, inhale up, exhale twist. Create a nice pressure from your palm and your knee so you can intensify a bit the twist of your spine. Again, inhale up, exhale twist. We come back in the center, same deep inhale from the nose, drop your left on the side and during your exhalation we bend on the side you can support yourself from your hand or you can drop your elbow but be sure that your seat bones are down on the mat look up towards the palms of your hand and the top of your head and again deep inhale up long exhale other side don't sink your shoulders forward, but open your chest apart. Sit bone grounded, relax your face. And again, deep inhale up. This time we interlace the fingers, we flip the palms up to the ceiling, stretch your elbows, and send your ears, sorry, your shoulders to the ears, and then drop them. Inhale up. Exhale, drop. Inhale up, exhale, drop. Inhale up, exhale, drop. Last one. Inhale up, exhale, drop. Release your hands and then we walk forward with our hands till you can drop your head completely down in between your arms without to lift your seat bones from the floor. Relax your head. From here we move on the right side towards the right knee. Be sure that your seat bones are still on the floor. And slowly on the other side. Drop your head in between the arms. Feel the lengthen of your side. And then slowly we come back in the center. We rise again up. We put the hands behind. And from here we open the chest, deep inhale up. Rise your chin to the ceiling. Exhale round. Scoop your tailbone in. Watch your navel, chin to chest. Again, in up. Exhale round. Inhale up. Exhale round. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale round. Last one. Inhale up. And hold here five. No tension in your neck. Four. Three. Relax your head. Two. And one. Slowly come back in the center. We move. With your hands forward, we adjust the line of our joints. If your knees are sensitive, you can fold your mat in the center this way and drop your knees at the top of the soft part. We take the all fours position, same line from shoulders and wrists and hips and knees. 
We take a deep inhale, arch, chin up, tailbone up. Long exhale, round. Scoop your navel in, chin to chest. Watch your belly. Inhale up. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, round. Again. Inhale up. Exhale, round. Come back in the center. We start making circle above our wrist to create a nice warm up for our wrists. So distribute your weight in any direction above your wrists and reverse. Keep breathing here. Your knees are still on the same position. And then we flip, uh, turn our fingers in uh, outside direction on the side of our mat and we swing side to side. Keep breathing here. We are working on the wrist, but our core is engaged to keep in control the position of our body. Then we twist again the fingers towards the knees and here we move forward and backward without lift the palms from the mat. A couple of times more. Keep your shoulders down. Don't Stay in this position, but create space, open the chest. Nice. And then from here, instead, we sit back and we rise the edge of your, our palms. We stay on the fingers and back. And again, up, uh, rise your palms, stay just on the fingers. Last time. And back. We come back, normal position. And we shake a bit, we release the tension in our wrists. We come back here and from here we rise on the fingertips and drop the palms again up, down, up, down. To make strength for our fingers. Down, up, down, up, down. And now we go up. And we stretch one leg. If you are really strong, you can go up in the plank position on your fingertips. Otherwise, use one leg at a time. That's perfectly fine. Don't push yourself. Just listen your body. Then you do also the other side. Very good. We drop our uh, hands down, we shake again, we release the tension in fingers, in the fingers and our wrists. And then we come back in all the fours, we tap the toes, we go up in our dog and we don't finish, we don't uh, do the our dog full at the moment, but we play a bit up and down from his toes, we involve the hips and the twist of the, the hips and the movement from our legs to prepare the legs, the arm strings, so a deep stretch of them in the downward dog when you are ready. Your downward dog can have the legs bent. The most important thing is to create space from ears and shoulders. Spread your fingers on the mat and send the chest to the thighs. We breathe here, your eyes are open, you watch your navel, your inhalation will be from the nose, very deep, your exhalation from the nose, very long, for the huge eye breath. And slowly we walk backwards towards our feet. All the weight of our body will shift on the legs. 
your knees will be still bent. You grab your elbows, drop your head completely and make a little a nice swing for your upper body completely relaxed and fold forward. Very good. And then slowly we release the arms, still with your legs bent, we roll the spine vertebra by vertebra and till the top, your shoulders, head and head will arrive later. And then we shake a bit if we need to release the effort. And from here at the end of your mat, we start a couple of rounds of Sun Salutation A. So take a deep inhale, arms up. Palms together at the top of your head. Long exhale, soft knee, bend forward. Four, four, palms down. Bend your knees enough till to reach the floor with your palms. Deep inhale, flat back, chin up. You can stay with your hands on the knees or drop your fingertips, flat back, look forward. Long exhale, four, forward again. We walk uh, till the top of the mat for our plank position. And here we stand the right knee to the right elbow. For one, keep breathing. Back, two, shoulders at the top of the wrist. Three, four, and five. And now switch leg. One, left to right, two, Adjust your line for the joints. Four and five. Come back in plank. You drop the knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, Phoenix pose. Elbows, same line with the shoulders. Our shoulders are far from the ears. Chest open, create your own support from your elbows. Engage your glutes to protect your lower back, legs together. Keep breathing here a couple of breaths. Drop your hips down on the floor. Then we drop ourselves lower, chest down. Move your hands to the side, by the side of your chest. And from here we push ourselves back, engage the core. We tap the toes, the our dog. We rise the right leg up, step forward between the palms, and the left follows. Feet together, fold forward, soft knees. Inhale, flat back, chin up. Long exhale, fold forward one more time. And then here we roll all the way up. Take a deep inhale, arms up. Long exhale, fold forward, soft knee, palms down on the floor. This time we step with the left back and right follows. Drop the knees, chest and chin down. Keep the palms by the side of your chest. Inhale, half cobra. Elbows close, shoulders far from the ears, roll back your shoulders. Engage your glutes to protect your lower back. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly down, push yourself back. Tap your toes, adjust the line of your arms, shoulders in line with the wrist. And here we're moving the our dog. This time, left leg up, step forward between the palms. The right follows, feet together, soft knee, fall forward. Deep inhale, flat back, chin up. Long exhale, fold forward one more time. And exhale, roll all the way up. Inhale up. Exhale, palms in front of the chest. Very good. We start again the sun salutation B, or um, a flow with some warriors and some uh, standing position, balancing position. Okay, deep in alarms up. Long exhale, fold forward. Forward to the knees. Knees soft. Inhale, flat back, chin up. Long exhale, fold forward again. 
from here you step your right and then your left for your plank in this plank we work similar as before but our knees will move outside of the same elbow for one same leg and back keep breathing two check the line from your shoulders and wrist three engage your core four five and now we move on the other side left left to the left one keep breathing stay strong three four and five very good you can choose here to drop the knees or to go in chaturanga drop completely the weight of your body and then elbows close to the chest rise up your upper dog full upper dog shoulders roll back chest open same line for your wrists and shoulders engage your glutes to protect your lower back keep breathing here you can rise your chin drop your hips deeply and then slowly we tap the toes bring back yourself downward dog we hold here three long breaths open the shoulders Create space from here and shoulders, chest to the thighs, watch your navel. If your um, legs feel too many tensions uh, behind, um, you can bend them. Just send your chest to the thighs a little bit more. Keep breathing, inhale from the nose, exhale from the nose. And from here we rise the right leg up with hips square so don't open your body on the side stay with the hips square and here we bring the shoulders at the top of the wrist knees at the top and in the middle of your chest bring your leg with you step forward we drop the back foot same line with the other leg careful your knee in front 90 degree with your ankle with strong foundation, we rise our warrior one, hips square, chest in front, rise your arms. You can be in this position or if you are, uh, if you feel too many tensions here, you can stay with your arms in front of your chest and hold. Drop your hips, five, four, three, two, and one rise your hands now deep inhale long exhale twist your warrior in warrior two don't sink your knee in but keep the knee in the same line of your ankle and look forward line same line for your arms this time your hips are in the same line not anymore square and here we reverse the warrior stay strong and in balance with your legs Push on your back leg, ground all the sole of your foot on the back leg. Slowly bring back yourself in front, elbow on the knee, rainbow above your head with the other arm. Keep breathing here. And then here we make five rotation with your arm and with your shoulder create big circle five four keep your elbow straight three two one and reverse five four three two and one very good we rise again warrior two if you are feel tired just stretch for a moment your leg in front and then we come back down, twisting warrior one. We reduce a bit the distance between our feet. You tap the toes on the back leg and we rise up our warrior three in balance. Stay strong, big toe grounded on the floor. Gaze one point in front of you. So your drishti is focused on one point. Strong foundation, engage the core, the legs. Keep your hips square, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Don't drop yourself, control, rise the knee in front, catch your hand, sorry, your knee with the hands, and drop your shoulders, balance here, ground your big toe, very good. We move the ankle at the top, balance, on the knee, with control, palms in front of your chest, drop your shoulders, and we sit in a kind of invisible chair. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come back. With control, you step back, your warrior. One, palms down, step back, plank. Knees down or not, so you can go from the knees down or directly in Chaturanga in a upper dog. Drop your hips, engage your glutes. Long exhale, downward dog. Three long breaths here. Release your back, lengthen your back, chest to the thigh, shoulders far from the ear, spread your fingers. Keep breathing, deep inhale from the nose, long exhale from the nose. And from here we rise the left leg, square hip square. And we make a big step forward, shoulders at the top of the wrist, bring the knee with you, step with your leg in between the palms, twist your back foot, same line for your heels. Strong foundation, 90 degrees from your front leg, hip square, arms up for your warrior one left side or palms in the middle of your chest. Careful with the angle of your knee, straight, drop your hips down and we hold, shoulder relax, five, engage your core, don't arch your back but instead reverse your pelvis area in front. Five, and push your back foot on the floor completely. Four, three, two, and one. Rise your hands, deep inhale, long exhale, twist, warrior two. Careful the knee in front. Stay with your knee at the top of the ankle. Bend forward and slowly reverse your warrior on the back and hold, engage your core, keep breathing, slowly we move, elbow down on the knee, other arm above for a moment and then we start our circles, before backward, one, two, three, four, Five and reverse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. From this position, rise again your warrior two. If you are tired on your leg, just stretch for a moment the front leg. And then we come back, warrior two. Warrior one, hip square. Reduce the distance of your legs and we create our foundations on the left leg this time for our warrior three strong legs oh, oh, oh. focus big toe grounded on the floor keep breathing here engage your core five four three two and one with control bring your knee up and catch your knee with the palm of your hands and balance, stay strong, drop your shoulder, calm your breath, if this sequence make it agitated, and hold, couple of breaths more, and slowly with control we come back, step back, warrior one, drop your hands forward, palms down, step back, plank. In this plank, we move the right hand in the middle, same line with your shoulders, and we twist our side plank 
arms up, same line with your shoulders, shoulders, elbows, wrists, same line. If you want to challenge yourself in this position, you can rise the right leg up above and hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly release the leg, both palms down, come back. This time, left in the middle. Check the line of your joints. Rise the other arm and also here. If you want to challenge yourself, leg up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back, palms down, knees off from the floor or down on the floor as you prefer. Elbows close to the side in a upper dog. Long exhale, downward dog. Five long breaths here. Shoulders far from the ears. Don't sink your knees in. But separate your knees, same line with your hips and ankles. Chest to the thighs. Keep breathing. Couple of breaths more. From here we rise again the right leg up and this time we bend the leg and we open the knee, sorry, see yeah, the knee and the hips apart and we twist a bit the chest under the right arm and hold. All your weight is on your left leg and left arm, drop your knees, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back in three-legged dog, drop your right leg. Let's do on the left side, rise, bend the knee, and then drop your leg on the right, strong right arm, and left leg, five. Four, feel the deep stretch for your hip flexor on the right side, for your side, abdominal muscles. Four, three, two, and one. Come back in three legged dog. And drop yourself again in downward dog. Here, if you need to rest a bit, you drop yourself down in child pose. Otherwise, if you are fine, you can hold your downward dog for five long breaths. Relax your head, shoulders to the thighs, chest to the thighs. Your legs can be bent, your heels not completely grounded on the floor, that's fine. But send your chest and shoulders to the thighs. Space from ears and shoulders. Couple of breaths more. Now slowly we move, we drop the knees, we sit on the heels for a moment, we release the tension from our wrists and arms. And then we come back from the four or the fourth downward dog. We walk backwards, till our legs, half knees, wrap your head, pose it again, swing. Side to side, relax your head, upper body completely down, your knees are soft, softly bent. Very good, roll slowly all the way up, vertebra by vertebra, deep in arms up, long exhale, Bend four, soft knees. Inhale, flat back, chin up. And exhale, four forward. 
walk forward at the top of your mat in plank and knees off or down on the floor drop yourself completely down in this position you put your palms same line with your face uh, a part of your mat so outside of your mat we engage the glutes the legs and we rise with a deep inhale ourselves with the strength of our arms elbow straight and hold five four three two and one slowly down this time we move our uh, fingertips on the floor and we do the same with the strength on our fingers deep in a lap engage your glutes i can i cannot see me but it is in this way and hold engage the glutes drop your hips shoulders far from the ears five four three two and one slowly down come back with your hands close to your chest we take a moment here for this exercise you use your block you put your block in between your legs this way between your ankles okay so you open your hips same line with your knees you prepare head down engage your glutes for this take a deep inhale up rise and send your hands by the side for five squeeze the blocks between your legs four three two and one slowly down hands under your our head relax drop your legs and the block down calm your breath we're going to do this one other two more times and slowly prepare rise your legs squeeze the blocks block between your legs and deep inhale rise up your chest engage your glutes five four three two and one slowly down release everything drop your head in the block calm your breath drop all the weight of your body down on the floor and last time prepare squeeze the blocks between your ankles deep inhale engage the glutes rise your chest and leg five keep breathing shoulders drop four three two and one slowly down relax drop everything we are not going to use the block anymore in this way we rest a couple of breaths here and now open your arms apart your head is on the right we rise the left leg up and we twist all the way left keep your shoulders down on the floor as much as you can relax your right leg all the way on the left side chest on the floor drop your weight don't hold any part just keep breathing this is a deep deep twist for your upper spine and a very good massage for your organs deep stretching for your hip flexor on the right leg also a very good stretch for the chest and the left arm and slowly we bring back the leg we twist the head of the left side we rise the left and we drop all the way to the right keep your shoulders close to the floor relax your left leg 
feel the twist of your spine, especially the upper part. Keep breathing on all your breath. And slowly we come back. We press the palms close to the chest, bring back ourselves. Open your knees apart, sit down in child pose. Stretch your arms. This time our child pose will have the elbows off from the floor and our fingertips taps on the mat. Drop your head down. Sit completely in between your legs. Drop your head and support your elbows far from the mat with your fingertips. Relax all the body, just your fingertips are doing a little effort. Keep breathing here. And slowly come back. In all the force, if you need, sit back and release the tension from your fingers and wrists. And from here, we sit on the toes and we rise the chest up, shoulders down, we stay and we find our foundations here to be in balance on the toes. When you are in balance with yourself and your body, you close your eyes. You lose all the point of reference that you have and you challenge a bit yourself in your balancing skills. Keep breathing here. No worries if you are shaking, that's fine. If you fall, that's fine, just come back. Calm yourself down, calm your breath, focus in your breathing. Very good. Open your eyes gently and drop your hands. Here we stretch the legs but just enough to open them. Adjust the line of your joints. Careful here we are going to sit in Malasana. Careful for the line of your joints. So your knees not like this but in the same line with your ankle. If it's too tough for you, just rise your hips and hold yourself in a um, easier malasana with the heels off from the floor, palms and at the middle of your chest. For the full malasana, just drop your heels down, create a nice opening from your elbows pressed towards the knees and a good opening for your hips. You can close your eyes here, we're going to take a couple of breaths here. This, this pose is really powerful for uh, our root chakra, so the foundation of our life, our security, our stability. So just breathe there. Relax your shoulder and your face. And slowly we release from this position. We drop ourselves down on the floor. We sit on the seat bones. We rise. One leg at a time, we hold our tabletop and we are going to do some core exercises. Your chest up, shoulders down. 10, 9, 8, keep breathing. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come back in tabletop and hold. 5, 4, 3, two and one very good open your legs 
for your Vada Konasana. Sit bone grounded on the floor. If your uh, hips have a, a very nice flexibility, you can open your feet as a book. Also, if your ankles are flexible, otherwise stay with your feet together. That's perfectly fine. Shoulder relax. Back straight. Sit bone grounded on the floor. We take here a couple of breaths for your Bada Konasana. You can close your eyes or keep them open. Whatever is comfortable for you. Just be focused on your breath. Then we open right leg apart, the other foot will be close to the thigh. We raise the left arm by the ears, take a deep inhale, long exhale with slide on, along the leg. Don't sink your shoulders forward, but keep the chest open, look up. If you need support, you can support yourself from the side of your leg. If you are really low, just drop yourself lower, move your opposite hand and go and catch your foot. And slowly keeping your arms up. Long exhale down from here. Left hand behind. The support for us now will be the ankle and the heel. We make a big circle, we follow the hand with the eyes and we push our hips forward, look up, push, push yourself with the belly up, watch your hands above your head and slowly we come back. We are going to do one more time, we can up, big circle with the arm, push your hips forward, keep your shoulder at the top of the wrist for your right sorry, left arm, and slowly come back. Now we shift leg, and this time you rise your right arm, and you slide along your leg with your long exhalation. You can take the full position and reach your toes. Don't sink your shoulders in, chest open up. You can support yourself on the side. Keep breathing. And slowly take a deep inhale, come back in the center, long exhale down. Right hand behind, big circle. With the left this time, push your hips forward. And slowly back. And one more time, inhale up. Push the hips forward, watch your hand at the top of your head, shoulder at the top of the wrist for your right arm this time, and slowly come back. We come back here, we relax our legs for a moment. And then we make a ball shape and we stay here for a moment, embrace your legs. We just breathe, drop all your weight on your knees, the weight of your head. If you feel too many tensions on the neck, you can just rise up one more time, relax your neck and drop your head again. Keep breathing here. Couple of breaths more. Now we can roll back and forward. Back and forward. Massage your spine till to reach the top of your shoulders. 
And then last time we drop completely ourselves down on the floor. Take a moment here, palms apart. Palms down in contact with the floor, with the strength of your core, you drop your knees one side to another one. A couple of times for a deep twist of your spine, Relax, release, drop your hands and keep going. Okay, we stop here and you drop your knees on one side, you twist your head to the opposite direction and you just breathe. Drop all the weight of your body down. And slowly press the palms on the floor, engage your core, lift your knees and bring back to the other side, twist your head to the right. of your body down on your mat. Slowly bring back, keep one knee and drop the other leg. Your spine is completely in contact with the floor, especially in your lower back, your tailbone. And switch. Slowly come back with two legs, open the knees apart, rise your feet, catch your feet on the inner part for your heavy baby pose and keep your tailbone grounded on the floor as much as possible and create a nice massage for your back with a little swing side to side. Slowly you close your knees again to the chest, make one more massage for your legs and for your lower back and then slowly we drop one leg per time down, we take our shavasana, drop your feet apart, palms by the side, twist it to the ceiling, close your eyes, drop all the weight of your body down the We take here a couple of moments to release all the effort we did in this practice. To come back to our normal breath, normal breathing. You can hold this Shavasana all the time that you prefer, all the time that your body needs. And when you feel ready, you bring back your awareness on the mat. Start moving the little parts of your body, like fingers, toes, and you make this little movement bigger and involve your ankles, 
on your wrists. And then you close your legs together, send your arms by the heels, take a deep stretching for all your body. And release. Drop your knees again to the chest, give to yourself a big hug. Say to your body a big thank you for this beautiful practice today. And you drop yourself all the way on the side, on your favorite side. You take one more moment here before to move back in your sitting position with your eyes still closed, your back straight, your sit bone grounded, your palms at the top of the knees, your shoulders relax, your face relax. We're gonna close together this practice. We take a deep inhale again, palms at the top of your head. Long exhale, bring your palms in front of your forehead for nice thoughts, in front of your mouth for gentle words, in front of your heart for spreading your love. Namaste. In this case, we call this one Namaste if you follow us on World Loves Yoga. Take care, guys. Stay safe. See you soon.